Good morning, Sunday 8th of February. Let's have a look, see what we've been up to or not. Let's do a quick update. Let's just have a look now at the, the pond area. Um, not a lot happening. I need to get some plants now for the pond. Very icy. Can't see what we're doing. Sunshine, let's have a look. There we go. And the bulbs that we've planted, they're all coming up. Wallflowers. Oh, planted a dog. And all the different bulbs. There's some dandelions in there, some crocus, some uh, iris. And they're all around the pond. you down it and they're all around there we go let's go and have a look in the polytunnel see what's been happening in there over the winter not a lot um, not a lot happening on the allotment let's go and have a look right the cabbage seems to be uh, Coming on there, not doing too bad. Actually, starting to act up. Um, so, yeah, they're doing alright. The broccoli. Yeah, they're doing, doing alright. Winter lettuce, I'm not sure so sure about winter lettuce but uh, we'll be picking one today um, and then this is supposed to be winter cauliflower um, but I'll just show you that I'll zoom in on that and the broccoli looks very similar so, so we'll, we'll, we'll see, see what comes out of that, I don't know. And then, as we said, the, the lettuce is doing well. I think this one's getting picked for today's tea. Then we'll see how that goes. Um, let me just sorry, come back down here. You can see there, I've now got a water butt inside the polytunnel. Uh, we do have problems in the summer for watering um, so I thought I'll bring that in here and then I can water with a watering can uh, problems well is we've got water on the sides but there's that many and I'm the very last plot so of course if there's one or two more using the the hose pipes I've got very little pressure so what I've done is I've brought a water butt in I just need to connect my pipe to this it's filling up at the minute as you can see but I've also inserted a toilet bowl cock and when it was outside I actually had the hose pipe connected to that but it was very near to the to the existing tap over there so I only needed a short pipe and it was broader diameter my long pipe will not fit onto there so I just need to uh, revamp this and then what I can do is just leave it switched on and like any other ball cock system it comes up and stops it overfilling so we'll show you that when we, we get round to doing it um, temperature in the polytunnel can you see it? I can't see it for the sun. Let's have a look. We've been minus 2.5 degrees centigrade. Let's move it further over. Keep moving the screen there. It's now 18.8 .8 and it's been a maximum of 20.6. Um, 
we'll see if we can do a comparison there for it it's been as low as 27.5 Fahrenheit it's now 64.9 Fahrenheit and been as high as 69.1 Fahrenheit turn it back to British time all clear, 18.3 let's have a look down the rest of the allotment I'm actually coming to do a, a bit of digging uh, we'll get the last two areas dug I'll dig that over I need to make my compost bins and put them down there this is my compost out of the old bins so that needs to go in let's have a look at the onions see if I can get my shadow out of the road so there are my onions and overwintering onions and of course I uh, see if I can get my shadow in the road and it might pick it up and my row of garlic I know you're all into uh, pre-setting them into seed modules like my garlic there me red onions and my golden onions wrong way and my old dog Zack <laughs> right let's go and have a look and we'll uh, we'll do a bit of digging catch you later well there we go another good session down at the allotment um, let's just show you what we've been doing so we've got the other section there winter dug see that bit up to there now all dug so somebody just started a generator up on the allotments so we've just got this section now um, we'll get that done and then of course yeah the path to put down so, just show you that now in the polytunnel there you go one gap. That's where my lattice was. Picked for my tea. Back round to the water but that is now full. As I said, just gotta connect that up. And what now? I think it's uh has it dropped down one degree, I can't remember. We're now on seventeen point eight. And it's now just coming up to twelve o'clock midday. Right, we'll close the polyton and then we'll just uh, show you what I have got. Oh, that's something I never showed you. I'll just close that. Um, during the bad winds, my next door's allotment had a greenhouse there. That's the base for it. That's the frame. Don't know if you can see it, I can't see on my screen. Yep. And it just, the winds that we had just blew it to bits. And of course, over this Harris fencing came sheets of glass. And as you can see, they went straight through my polytunnel. Luckily, when you're a polytunnel owner, you have polytunnel repair tape. <laughs> Uh, but the glass was that I was lucky really because it, it was just one sheet that went through there um, And when I came down all the glass was across the front of the greenhouse and a piece even sliced okay. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see it That bit even sliced across there straight through and Over here for the glass but right, so we're done for the day, let's just show you this, this is the area that's got to be dug over, 
and I think like everybody else's that's the rhubarb crown just starting to grow again so that'll stay there and the water butts here will be moved down oh, let's just see if I can see what I've got what we've managed to pick today and there you go two beautiful leeks nice and white and the head of lettuce so that's it for down on the allotment today um, what we'll do now is I'll just cut into this and we'll have a look up at home have a look at my potatoes that I've got for this year and my seeds I've bought talk to you later Hi again, and here we are up at home. Um, I will just show you the potatoes that I've got. So we've got the salad potato, which is Enya, as you can see by the label. We've then got the Earlies, Vivaldi, and then I've just got my main crop, which is the rooster. And then I've just had given to try, and these are, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, Sagita, S-A-G-I-T-T-A. -T apparently there's a new potato for the chip and roasters, so we'll see how they go. Of course it's the 8th of February, I think I will I left a message with Dan when he put his up on the something like the 27th, 28th of January. Um, and that's when these potatoes come and I think, oh let me turn you around. Um, I think that um, what the manufacturers are doing now is just getting them out really early. Um, of course we're up in Yorkshire, not down south, we're not on the on Jersey, as Dan says, we're not at Jersey, so we've not got Jersey potatoes or Jersey weather. And they just get them out too early, and that's why we chit them, is just because we get them early. And we've nothing else to do with them, because if we keep them hidden in the dark, and the temperature rises, we're just going to end up with the, the eyes that are five foot long, like you see in some of the supermarkets. Or the DIY stores that have them, uh, where the chits are coming through the bag and then they're no good. But that's why we chit them, because if they sent them out at a reasonable time, we just put them straight into the ground. But that's why we chit, because they send them early. Let's have a look what seeds I've got now. Right, I just thought I'd show you... Um, some of the seeds that I've got for this year's growing season. I've actually got them off um, off eBay, um, but I've used a company. Let's see if we can see it. Premier Seeds Direct. Um, just covered up some of my details there. And that's their address. But majority of the seeds, they're all 99p. What's that one there? 139, that was the cabbage summer it used to be. Uh, 139, majority 99p. And if you just put it into your basket, then you just get 49p delivery. But let's have a look what we've got. Um, pumpkins, Jack Billickle, 15 seeds. This is going to be rubbish, this, because I ain't got my tripod. Cabbage Primo, 11, 800 seeds on that. It's unbelievable, isn't it? 99p. Let me just get my seeds. We'll put them to one side. This is nearly as professional as Brendan's. Sorry, Brendan. Um, radish. Sparkler, Sweet 
sweet pepper. Banana. Brussels sprout, Yushin special. Cucumber, telegraph. And of course with these seeds there's that many. Um, the last at least a couple of years. 2016 turnip purple top white globe 3000 seeds for 99p cabbage isp f1 40 leek keratin Weed. Cabbage Winter King. I don't know why I'm saying them, you can read them on, can't you? Sunflower skyscraper. Not a vegetable, of course. Cucumber melon. Give them a go this year. Beetroot Baltardi, or as our American friends say, beets, lettuce, saladin, uh, I don't know if you can see that, 20 million seeds there must be in there, so, but I've got a, a few packets of lettuce just to uh, have a variety throughout the year, carrot early 90s. Again, three gram. Old favourite tomato, Elsa Craig. And broccoli, green sprouting early. Red cabbage. And spring onions, bunch in White Lisbon, and again, well, 2,500 seeds, it's right back it. Um, not there yet. Lettuce all year round, and again, 4,000 seeds, and may. And in basket tomato, a sweet million. 20 seeds. And then my peas, alderman. And my climbing French bean, blue leg. Absolutely corkers them for a bean. You have to try them. Anyway. Um, that's it for now. Oh, turn me around. Yeah, frightening. That's it for today's update, and hopefully this sunshine um, is going to commence, and we can all get back in the gardens. Speak to you later.